Peace Up. I'm Madeline. And I'm Sydney. And we're here with your morning announcements. The Class of 2024 fundraiser will be held at Canton Bubble Tea on Friday, May 14th. 10% of the day's profits will go to the Class of 2024. Come and support a local business in the freshman class. Spread the word. The Canton Commission for Culture, Arts, and Heritage is holding a How Do You Spell Canton contest that is open to all Canton residents. To enter, you must submit a letter art by going around the community and taking pictures of signs slash symbols to spell Canton, which can also be done in other languages as well. When finished, you can submit the completed pieces to Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag How Do You Spell Canton and your team name hashtag and, where, and make sure to identify where you got all of your images from. The contest can be done individually or with a team and can be submitted until September 6th. And win, winners will be given prizes of gift cards valued at over $100. More information can be found on the Canton Leisure Services website. And this is a great opportunity to explore Canton, so make sure you participate. This week, the Career Center has some vital, some virtual visits scheduled. The Army is coming on Wednesday and the Navy on Thursday. Go to the Career Center link to register and get the Zoom link for your session. That's all for your announcements, Peace Up. Have a good day. Thanks, besties. Hey, Peace Up, it's Paul here with the sports. The Tigers beat the Twins 7-3. The Pistons lost to the Bulls 96-108. In the Premier League, Liverpool beat Southampton 2-0. And Chelsea beat top of the table Manchester City 2-1. That's it for your sports, Peace Up. Now on to Ella with your weather. What's up, Peace Up? I'm Ella here with your weather. Bundle up, Peace Up, because it's going to be cold this week week. Today will be a high of 57 and a low of 34. It will be sunny all day with a chance of clouds. Tomorrow will be a high of 55 and a low of 36. And finally, a joke to start your Monday off. Knock knock. Who's there? Scold. Scold who? Scold outside. Let me in please. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for your weather piece up. Have a good day. <laughs> hey piece up, I'm Tom here with your news bit. As states encourage citizens to get a vaccine to limit the spread of COVID, the San Diego Zoo has taken the giant step of permitting the orangutans, bonobos, and gorillas to get vaccinated as well. The zoo calls the vaccines voluntary because the animals have to sit unrestrained to get their vaccine. The vaccine the animals received was from Zotus, an animal health company that was once part of Pfizer. The decision to vac vaccinate the animals was made after eight gorillas developed COVID in January that was contracted from an asymptomatic keeper. Four orangutans and five bonobos have been vaccinated so far, with the zoo planning to immunize another three bonobos and a gorilla soon. These species, along with chimpanzees, are the closest cousins to humans, planning them at placing them at risk at of contracting a virus that has been spreading rapidly from person to person. The Zotus company is developing a vaccine for anim animals that spit barks immunity against the coronavirus by delivering a piece of surface protein the viruses use to grab onto and infect the cells. That's the same approach Novavax is using in a human COVID-19 vaccine that could be cleared for use in the U.S. in the coming months. Zotus has been testing its vaccine against minks, cats, and dogs, saying Limbersky, and it, and it has about 27 doses to spare. The San Diego Zoo got those doses for primates. Since the animals can't talk, the keepers were able to observe that a few of the orangutans rubbed to their arms at the shot location, much like humans would do. Other than that, there, there have been no side effects. Vaccines are a part of the care routine for these apes who regular, regularly receive flu and measles vaccines. That's all for your news bit, peace up. Have a great day.